So my name's Helen Dugmore, I'm a senior lecturer um, here at Murdoch University in um, the discipline of nursing. Uh, my role here is uh, the clinical and community practice lead, which means that I look after all of the clinical placements that students um, participate in as part of their three year nursing degree. So I've worked within nursing for around 27 years. Um, the majority of my nursing career I've spent within um, the tertiary sector, which is our big major teaching hospitals within Perth. Um, I worked predominantly within neurosurgery, which is a very highly specialised area dealing with the brain and the spine. Um, and I transitioned from, um, and I, I found that I enjoyed teaching so much when I was on the ward that I transitioned into that role. Uh, worked within education at a hospital level and then moved within, um, moved across to the university sector. Nursing itself provides just so many highlights. I, I don't think I could ever pick one moment within nursing that I have felt as it has been a moment that has stood out from any other moment within nursing. Um, I have found every, every day within my nursing career quite fulfilling and um, rewarding and I've always felt that there's something new to learn within nursing every day that you walk onto the ward. And, and that's transitioned further into my into education and I just find it so rewarding now to see students learning with the, within the clinical simulation suites and then transitioning out into placement and putting all of the skills that they've taught or they've learned within the university out into the um, clinical placement area. So clinical placement um, for nursing students is where they get to actually go out into industry. So they go out into the major hospitals and they get to put all of the skills that they've learnt within, uh, with that, all the skills that they've learnt at university. So they get to put those into practice in the real world setting um, out in the clinical area. And they go out into all sorts of different clinical areas. So they'll go out into aged care, they go out into medical, surgical, um, community health areas and they'll also go out into our specialty areas such as um, ICU, ED, um, HDU areas so they're all very highly specialised areas and they also get to work within mental health areas as well so they cover a broad range of uh, clinical areas when they go out there. So students go out into the clinical area um, from their first year um, and in their first year they'll go out and they'll do a three week aged care block and that's at the end of their um, first year. Um, in their second year they'll do two four week clinical placements and then in their third year they'll do a four week block and then they'll transition to do a six week um, what we call a capstone unit and that's in their final semester. And the idea of that six week block is to really um, transition the student from being a nursing student to being a registered nurse and what that role entails. Oh, clinical placements are probably the, the part of the nursing course that students most look forward to um, and they are so vitally important because nursing is a practice based profession um, and it's, it's supported by a lot of theory so there, there, there is a lot of theory that students have to understand um, to be able to apply their skills into the clinical area. So it is vitally important for students to be able to experience clinical placements within the first year so that they can actually apply all of that theory into their practice-based profession. So some of the skills that they, the students will learn out in the clinical area that, that, that are not always um, taught within the clinical simulation suites are things around communication how to communicate with patients, how to develop, and we talk a lot about therapeutic communication with patients, and that's the ability to build a relationship with a patient very quickly. Um, and that's not something we can simulate in the simulation suites because you know a lot of the times the students are working with each other, they have pre-existing relationships, um, and also we use a lot of um, uh, mannequins um, within our sim suites. So communication skills is definitely something that they will learn out in the clinical area. How to talk to a patient, um, how to develop that relationship very, very quickly with the patient um, so that the patient then has confidence and trust in the care that they're delivering. Students being able to go out in rural and remote placements really they're very, very important, I think, to the development of uh, student nurses and transitioning into registered nurses. They, um, rural and remote placements will go anywhere from Albany 
in our southwest through to the Ord Valley in our uh, in the Kimberley. Um, and these placements give an understanding of Indigenous health and the determinants of health within that community. The skills that students get to practice out in those clinical areas are you know, they get to practice clinical skills that they'd, they'd practice down here in the, in the metro area, but also they get exposure to things around telehealth, which is something that if you were just doing placements in the metro area, you wouldn't actually um, get that exposure. The nursing program at Murdoch University has just been voted number one in the recent uh, 2021 Good Universities Guide, and that's, um, that's voted by our past um, students. So, that in itself is a great testament to study at Murdoch University. Uh, from a personal level, I find working at Murdoch University and working with my colleagues in nursing is um, an inspiring and very supportive environment. Um, all academics um, within nursing have an open door policy for, for students, so um, students are very well supported. Um, students are put into the clinical simulation suites within um, the nursing program from the very first semester, from their very first week, they get to start practicing their skills um, to be a nurse. So the facilities here at Murdoch University are, are world class. They, we offer um, simulation suites at both our Perth and our Mandra campus. They have um, we, we use a range of um, simulation, um, high fidelity and low fidelity simulation to support students in their learning. Uh, at the bedsides we have monitors so that students are able to practice electronic record um, and utilise and understand electronic record which is something that they will use out in the clinical area. We also use a digital platform for assessment of students and um, that digital pla platform is called PebblePad and that's integrated across our curriculum from our theory units to our, um, our simulation suites and out into the clinical area. Um, what's really important I guess around that digital platform and also using the monitors at the bedside and electronic record. So we're equipping our students with um, the digital literacy that they're actually required to have with it, working within the health industry. When I have the opportunity to come into the simulation suites and I see the students learning at the bedside, um, I find that so rewarding because these are the people who are going to carry on my profession, the profession that I'm incredibly proud of and uh, incredibly passionate about. Um, when I go out into the clinical, um, clinical placement areas when students are on placement, I actually see them putting those skills that they've learnt at university into practice at the bedside with patients. And when I see that light bulb go off in a student to think, oh, that's, that's what I learnt at university, I'm actually seeing that you know, I can actually see the link now between what I'm doing and what I learned. They're the moments that I find most rewarding. They're the moments that keep me going um, forward in my profession and, you know, get me up in the morning and get me excited to come in to, to teach students. Employment prospects for nursing graduates is very good. Um, Within the health industry, we have um, a lot of different opportunities available for nurses. There are uh, specific graduate programs which are available through a lot of our major tertiary hospitals and a lot of our private hospitals. And these are supported programs um, that see students transition through their first year as a registered nurse. Uh, but there are also many other opportunities available for students. So aged care is actually an industry which um, employs a lot of registered nurses um, in their first year. They often offer a lot of support programs to um, support nurses in that first year. The role of the nurse in aged care is actually very, very different to the role of a nurse within um, the tertiary hospital. Uh, there's a lot of leadership and delegation and organisational um, uh, knowledge and uh, behaviours that uh, a newly graduated registered nurse with an aged care needs to have. Um, there's also a lot of roles available within um, the community uh, area within primary health areas and for those students who love our rural and remote um, areas there is so many um, opportunities within those areas. I guess the advice I would give to anybody considering doing nursing is not to consider it, is to actually go ahead and do it. Um, it has, as I've said before, has been one of the most rewarding things that I've done. Um, it's the best thing that I've done in, in my life really and it has set me, it's given me a career that has been very, very rewarding and um, still continues to um, challenge me and reward me every day.